Good morning. Happy Monday. And it's been quite a week um, for myself. The last week or so, I have been in extensive pain with my shoulder. And um, I have to say, I'm better than last week, which is awesome. I'll take it. And it's given me an opportunity to rest, regroup, um, rethink. And um, if you've been following along, you know, my main goal here is to teach healthy habits. And with those healthy habits, you know, you see in 30 days a big change. 60 days, it becomes part of your life. 90 days, it's your routine. And, you know, yesterday I had a friend who contacted me last night. Um, she and her husband went sober about a year ago, and they had contacted me, and we discussed, she, he said to me, you know, what did you do? And, you know, all this habit change and all this 30, 60, 90, and, and eating clean and, and just changing your outlook and finding self care ways to take care of yourself and I just threw it all at him you know he and his wife you know of course drinking doesn't make anything good and um you know they came out a year later sober and hiking and living life and, and doing their thing together and to me that's what it's about you know, so it's food, yeah. I mean, you know, eating clean is is absolutely something that it fuels your body, right? If you eat shit, you're gonna feel like shit. And so many of us feel like crap, even myself. I mean, my shoulder, you start to feel a little crappy, you go for some comfort food, a little sugar, a little this, a little that, and all of a sudden, you know, everything hurts. Coincidence? I don't know. You know, um, fasting, you know, that's something that when I came across, it was like, what do you mean humans did this from existence when we were like cave people, right? Prehistoric, like you didn't eat four meals a day. We ate very limited. No joke. My cats, I have three kittens. They started getting a little not kitten like anymore. And we kid her around at the kitchen table, but I was like, you know what? There's always a bowl out for them. And I know that's how my cats grew up. That's how I did it. I don't know. Um, but I'm sitting here talking about fasting to people, and I'm like, wait a minute. This cat should be on food eating, no? So I did it, and within like one week, they shrink down a little bit, and they, they're more lively and happier and all that. And I'm like, fasting for everybody makes sense, no? Um, self-care, you know, on my journey in the last year and a half, I've allowed myself to do 30 day challenges, not because it was going to be like a 30 day shut off and put on and be because I realized that in 30 days, you understand if something actually works. And so one of the ones I did was meditation with a friend, Erica, and we were keeping each other accountable on headspace. And day 20 something was where I realized this works. You know, I was driving my, my daughter, stressful moment. If I can even look back on the last week, probably, or last two weeks, and you know, some of it is pain. You can't, you know, who wants to meditate when you're like, you don't want to get out of bed. Um, but our job really is, I mean, got to keep pulling ourselves up and keep pushing ourselves forward. And, um, you know, that's what I hope to be able to keep reminding people to do. And working out, you know, it's come up, we've, I've discussed it with a few people in the last few days. And, you know, the way that I work out now, um, in my 20s, I thought, you know, cardio, go, 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 and weights, and da, da, da. And, and I really didn't get into it all. I was more like the classes, stay out of the gym. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, you know. Um, and then life takes you, and I gained my weight, and, you know, drinking a lot, smoking a lot, 
shit, what am I doing? Got to change my life. How do you do that? You know? And so, um, the workout, you know, I'm, I'm almost 48. I'm telling you about my shoulder. I got neck issues, back issues, knee issues. And, you know, they're like, but when I was talking to a few people this week, we were talking about the resistance and the idea behind it, using tension, because your injury may be different, you know, your body is different than my body, your injuries are different than mine, but the tension on it will still build, right, and, and get you strong. And being that the workout, in my opinion, is like 20% of the whole part, right, you know, but why don't you do it super efficiently, right? And so at 48, people say to me, how much weight do you bench? I'm like, uh, I have three pound weights. I work with five pounds and I put ankle weights on sometimes. Like that's it. Because I use the, the tension from the band. I use balance, you know, and isometrics, meaning holding a pose kind of like what um, yoga, you know, the premise is holding and breathing. We hold and breathe too, but with the tension, right, you, you tap into other parts. And with balance, you tap into other parts. And you only need like small gym equipment to do it. So when people say, oh, I can't do it, or, or you know, um, you can have a corner of your room <clears throat> and just set things up, make it for you, because that's a good thing. And yeah, press a button, you can come join me and we could do it together. Uh, because that's kind of what I do is I'm doing classes every day at 7 a.m. across the board. And I, I, I'll put the calendar um, underneath. You're welcome to join me and just see what it's about. Point is, low resistance or low impact workouts works for people, my clients. Right? People in their 30s, 40s, 50s who are dealing with some things and, you know, maybe the cardio piece should be there. This weekend I had an amazing chance to go take a, a two-mile walk, I believe, um, at Heckscher State Park and, you know, enjoy that, the cold outdoor air. But, and that was cardio. It was tough because it was walking a little bit in the snow. And, but... Um, it was one of those things where I wanted to add it to it. I don't have to, you know, and when people say, you know, I got to get to the gym, I got to do crazy weights. I, I wonder because then very soon I see either some type of injury or, you know, some type of surgery. And for myself, I want to age without all that crap. I want to know that I can take some turmeric and be done with my shoulder. I wish it was that easy. But, you know, I was even thinking, like, okay, so I got shoulder issues. I'm always sitting there at the computer or on my phone, right, like all of us. You do that, you feel it. Hmm. Well, what if I talk into my, my computer or my phone or whatever? And you change and you find healthier, better ways to get through it, you know? And I think that that's what it's about. So, um, March 1st. March is, is an interesting month because... Um, it's my birthday, I'm gonna be 48. It's my two kids' birthdays. They are the week before me. They were both due on my, my birthday, which was kind of crazy. Um, and I wanna do a 30-day challenge this month, something that I've been working on with um, my social media manager. And um, we came up with this really cool she's taken it and ran with it but taking four healthy habits and making them into a digital 30-day um, challenge right and a principal one and the reason why principal is because so many people should put pencil in hand and draw and write and create and you know it would be better right you actually, when you write and draw, you, you have a 45% chance of actually remembering things better. But if you wanted to do the digital, it's click and point, click and point, and you can, you know, do these habits together. The four we put together first, just to kind of start it. 
And they're basis. They're like the bottoms of what you should kind of, you know, why. I mean, you should wake up a little bit early. You know, we all can put our phones down and wake up a little early and take a little time for ourselves. That alone would be golden for your day. So um, one of the healthy habits is like finding time to put down your phone, taking a tech detox. How do you do it? There's tips to do it. You know, of course, you can put a lock on your phone. There's different apps that make you, you know, kind of play around with that. Um, this one's a little much. Um, so there's that, waking up, um, um, no, uh, tech detox. And then waking up early. Point is on that, you know, so many people say, I don't have time, you know, well, if you woke up a half an hour earlier, you would have time to maybe stretch, maybe put down your phone and do some other things that would make you have a better day. And to me, that's like the basis of what you need to do to work out, to do this, to eat better, to all that. So um, the third one is drinking water. I say that and I don't have a water bottle around me and I've probably only drank maybe one glass of water so far. But we're made of water. We're supposed to be drinking water. I tell my clients all the time, organic lemon in the water because it balances your pH. And you know what? I don't know 100%, but when I do it, I feel better. And it's organic lemon. So um, they seem to do it. Everybody seems to want to... It, it says it helps with um, with weight loss. I'm not exactly sure how, um, but it's great for your skin. If you drink enough of it, you'll see. I have these strips that you can test yourself and see if your pH balance. It gets you close. I have to say the pH balance waters get you there, which I do try to drink the waters every once in a while. Um, I'm going off on a tangent and. The last one, I did this last time. Waking up early, <laughs> singing your theme song. And the reason why, um, when a, a while back, right before COVID, uh, I had put it out there to my clients about finding a theme song. We were actually in the, the process of getting ready for our first Spartan run. Um, and so there was three or four of us that were going to do it and we were starting to train and, and it was pretty cool idea to have um, a theme song. And since I've had a song in my head and you know, it, it wasn't like, oh, oh, a song appeared in my head. There was a reason for it, right? I was sitting at a conference, I heard somebody across the room strangely singing the song because it made him think about it all that way and I'm like okay now I should probably think about that but you know everybody has a different reason and talking to my clients who were on the Spartan group with me they had different reasons and so it was something where somebody said to me this week and I'm like well that's a little interesting of a habit but if you are such a music buff or you, you understand the words to music, you know, um, it touches you in a different way. And no one says you can't, like, it doesn't mean, like, my kids laugh at me because they're not, they don't laugh. But they know at three something I'm singing my song. And sometimes they're up and sometimes they're not. And, you know, I mean, hey, you could go sing it in the car on your way to work. There's ways to get around it if you don't want to. But, um, you know, it's kind of like, think about it. All weekend I was listening to music from decades, decades, saying, telling us different things. So, you know, why not listen to music that talks to us? Every day I get to think, okay, live like a warrior. You know, try my best. That's all you could do. And so, um, you know, that's where the 30 day challenge group is going to kind of come from. I think what we're going to do is, well, if you're interested in it, 
it's going to be, um, I'm going to set up a Facebook group for the people who join it. And then we're going to kind of work in there, which is going to be really cool. And then I'm going to pop on either daily or weekly, and we're going to talk about the habits and tips to do it, and then make sure that we're applying it. And then you can sit there on your digital or on your paper and color and draw. And the reason why I see you even color and draw is this weekend, from one of the books that I read, which I suggest to my clients, some of them, um, some of them listen to me, some of them don't. But 15 Secrets of Task Management is a book. I was trying to make it, this is bad. Um, anyway, I'll put a picture of it. Uh, point was, you know, it, it was a visual description of a book that really hit me. And the words on there remind me of things of the week or the day that I should do different. And so it's just another way to either like draw, write, you know, press a button, whatever you choose to do. And so we're going to do it 30 days. At the end, I know I'm going to be drinking a lot more water, which I'm really glad about because I'm terrible with that. And um, then we're going to move on to bigger and more um, stackable habits that we can add on top of each other. Because, you know... They're working out, everybody gets so wrapped up on that, and I get it, but it's a piece. And if you don't have better habits to get there, it's harder to just jump onto it, just like any of it, right? So, you know, starting with small habits, 1%, and then it has a compound effect. You know, um, when I was looking back, you know, you get your memories, and I only get three years of memories because for a good year I shut off Facebook. I got off of Instagram. I, I just totally stopped. And this was, uh, this was when Facebook was that mean and just wasn't, I don't know. A lot was going on. I was also stopping drinking and it was just a different time in my life. And closed it down and just focused on me in a different way. And that, to me, so now I look back on the last three years when I'm kind of finding my words, kind of finding my, and now I'm still finding my words, you know. But um, you do see the compound effect. You do see, you know, I watch people who talk about, you know, being successful with their goals, and then you fast forward a YouTube video and you see they hit their goal, and you're like, hmm, okay. So, you know, it could be a goal on eating clean or fasting or, or stretching every day or meditating or, you know, writing in a journal, reading a book. You know, it's take one little thing and run with it because it keeps going if you keep pushing it. And to me, 1% better does turn into 10x where you can just ride with it. And um, that's what I'm hoping that the 30-day challenge group will become, one step at a time. And if you are interested in checking out what it is, um, it's $14.99 for anybody who might be interested in it for the month. And like I said, that's me, you know, um, either daily, weekly. We're working on the plan on that because I want to make sure I am with their with everybody throughout the entire time and then um like i said the digital and the print and i'm super excited about it so i hope that you have a great monday tomorrow i'm on with tuesday tips today was supposed to be motivational monday and i hope that you know if you take a look at this power of 1440 the idea of that is exactly time right the time that you waste when we sit on our phones and the time that we waste when we think we need to be sleeping eight hours. And the power of 1440 is 1440 minutes in a day. What do you do with your 1440? Because people say, I don't have five minutes to work out. Yeah, I don't have 60 minutes or half an hour or 10 minutes to stretch or something for yourself when you have 1440 minutes in a day. You know, in the book, 15 Secrets of Task Management, which this is about, um, 
he he said, and the truth of it is, you know, you can lose all your money and get it back, right? You can lose the love of your life and get a new one, right? You you what you can't get back is time. And when that, you know, was like boom, um, you realized that time was something very different if you thought of it that way. And so like taking breaks from social media sometimes or your phone in general or your little world when needed, you know, those things are important. And again, all the other healthy habits, drinking water, you know, waking up early, all these things are good for you. So um, I hope that you join me and I will be on every day this week around 8, 8.30, my goal is. As long as my shoulder keeps getting better and I keep going in that forward direction, um, I will be on every day. So I hope that you have a great Monday and message me if you have any questions. I would love to chat. Bye.